All right, um, good day everyone. It is Jolly Shoko TV. This is where we bring you updates on all that is happening all around the globe. If you are just coming across this channel for the very first time, please, I want to beg you, please subscribe and don't forget to click on your notification button. Um, this will notify you whenever we drop a new content or whenever we start our live program. All right, I want to show you a video. Um, this um, there is a particular man that has been adopted and he has narrated what he witnessed in the hands of the uh, of the X-Men, those that adopted him. Ah, and but I felt so so pity for this guy. And you know, a lot of people have been bringing their suggestion um, and opinion about you know, are we to should we divide the country? Everybody should just go on their way because enough of all this kidnapping, adopting, and a lot of, en enough of all this rubbish. Please, let me just bring you this video, and after the video, I will be coming back. I want you to drop your views on what do you think is going to be the solution to this country. Is this how we're going to continue in this adopting, adopting, adopting of an issue? Please, I'm going to bring the, the video now, and I hope you're going to enjoy it. Please stay tuned, and don't forget if you're just joining, please do subscribe. And don't forget to click on the notification button. You can also share this live program um, as we talk. Yeah, this is the video. Adeniji underbridge. The truth that we unpacked under the bridge was pitch dark. They they brought me out and they started using knife, cutlass, different things on me. Now I'm fortified. I'm an African, so of course I don't I don't I don't I don't take anything for granted. I don't take chances, so I'm fortified. So when they saw that. The stabbing attempts on my body, the knife was not entering, their dagger, their kitchen knives, their cutlass, they tried to cut me. About three of them held my neck, another two held my hand to the back, and they put, you can see lacerations on my neck, they put knife on my neck to try and, you know, slash my neck and slaughter me, but it wasn't penetrating. So I just had the leader telling them in Alausa that they should lie me down and use their boots. About three of them were wearing army uniforms. So... They should use their boots to uh, crush my head. So about six of them held me hand, leg, and two were using their boots to hit my eyes, hit my nose. They just wanted to knock me out. But, you know, so after some minutes, I just realized that I was getting dizzy and I was about to, you know, faint. And once that happens, these people will take me and do what they want. So I reached out for my bag, which was on the floor, and nobody was noticing. They didn't notice it throughout all these things. <coughs> I use that see blood from my mouth. I'm even bleeding. I'm even bleeding internally. So I took out that knife with my right hand and I started, you know, waving it in different directions. So it caught one of them in the tummy. The tummy got busted, one in the neck, another one in the eye, and they started bleeding profusely. So their leader was telling them that should be they have gotten all these remaining ones who are asleep. Let them carry them and go and deliver them. They should leave me that at the end of the day I will die there with what they, they have done to me. So they all rushed off and this is me, bleeding on my throat, my nose is broken, my eye inside, something is fundamentally wrong, my eyes, my mouth, I just want to, you know, clean up and then go to the hospital for medical attention. People, it is real. All the people I just talked about were northerners. These people have entered even Lagos State. They have entered Lagos. They have penetrated Lagos. They picked me up. From that Lekki Ikoi roundabout, that Ikoi that links Lekki and um, Ikoi, that bridge, that's where they picked me up. That kind of high bro environment, that kind of prestigious, luxurious environment is where these people picked me. Now, my pity is to all the about eight other passengers who, who they've carried wherever they are carrying and they're going to die definitely. Guys, you just have to be careful out there. That's what this is about. I'm still grateful for for life. Right, welcome back. It's still Jolly Shoko TV. Hope you enjoy what you just watched. All right. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to press on the notification button to alert you whenever we drop a video. Please subscribe. Edge, edge, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. So yeah, Jolly Shoko TV.